wherever I was before. I, I'm out of it. I've been traveling. Look, look up here. I could just hold it because it's only this. Hello everyone, my name is Victoria Rose. Welcome to my channel. Today is, oh, to figure out what I'm actually introducing. <laughs> Hello, my name is Victoria Rose. Welcome to my channel. This is my friend, DeAndre. Today I'm now leaving. I'm going to South America. So I'm going to Colombia. I mean, I wish I could come. <laughs> Let's go. Hello, and here I am in South America. I didn't just magically appear here. It took, it was about 24 hours of street traveling to get here from London, England. It's much more humid here. I, the time difference is about five hours. Um, feeling, I'm trying to adjust. This is my first day in Colombia. I got in last night. I went to meet up with some of the Wi-Fi artists, uh, which was is how I'm here, by the way. The link is below. Uh, Wi-Fi is a digital nomad community of people, and you can sign up and you can work alongside other people while traveling at the same time, and they go through to a different location every month. So I'm here by myself, technically, but I have the access to other humans. I don't know what time or, or anything it is, wherever I was before. I, I'm out of it. I've been traveling. Look, look up here. Um, so I just made it here in Mehelin. And I need to learn how to say that properly before I say it. In Colombia. And here we are. Um, yeah, I'm just really tired. It was a long flight. It's crazy going from one country to the next. Like, this is such a far, far away, far, far place. I'm gonna take a rest I'm in my room. My own room. I'll give you a little tour of the place or something tomorrow, but for tonight, big shout out to Wi Fi artists if you guys are interested in figuring out how to travel as a digital nomad and have a community of people, figure it all out. I'll put their links below, but let's get into this um, Colombian adventure. <sighs> I'm going to sleep. <sighs> you know, like I do everything by myself, so traveling to maybe a country like this, I wouldn't do by myself. No, I definitely wouldn't, not Colombia. I'll show you around. I don't know what I'm doing today. I, I'm, my feelings are, well, let me show you the accommodation, some of it first, because it's really nice. Um, I woke up this morning with lots of birds chirping. Fucking hell. All I needed was my vaccination card. Didn't need any extra tests, in case you wondered. I'm going to go out and see where life takes me. Uh, my feelings are very, uh, as the timid traveler that I am, I'm a bit, I feel very out of place. I got here and everyone knew each other already because I was like one of the last ones to arrive. It's nice, this program is nice because I can have a lot of alone time and also be around people. I haven't met everybody yet. I mean, the people here seem really cool. They all do, they're all digital nomads, which is relatable. I just, I need to find some connections for the month. I feel like there's some sort of like reality show where it's like digital nomads all put together. So, so every time I travel somewhere new, you know, I get pretty anxious and uh, out of place. I just never feel like I fit in any one place, but 
that's just my mind talking. Like, don't worry, I'm not gonna be filming from just my room. Even though the, the accommodation is really, really nice, I'm gonna go and taste some coffee. There's a coffee tasting event. Also, I wanna learn to salsa dance. Like, I don't know how to get places. Um, I'll have to figure everything out. And if you're interested, I'll tell you. I'm hoping this, this paves my way to be a more seasoned traveler. Let's go. By myself, I don't know where everyone else is. <laughs> oh my God. But I'm gonna walk to the place knowing I'm a little scared just to get there, right? I don't have a SIM card yet, so we'll see what happens. Here. So I'm gonna wait for Simona. I think it's her name. Simona, Simone. I met her last night and we're gonna walk to the co-working space together. Are you okay being on my phone? Yeah, okay. Fun. I'm actually working on my personal stage. Okay, so I found her and now we're walking to the co-working space. I think it's up there, yeah. So here yes, we go. we are. Yeah, I didn't really know what to expect Columbia to be like, so this is nice. You said you didn't know what to expect, do you? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so I'm here. I found the people, the Wi Fi artists. And we're gonna do some coffee or breakfast or something. I don't know. We're just here. The coffee, uh, we have in the hall. So after this, we go uh, to sign up for the gym. Yeah. Leslie, so I guess you can come. Yeah, I'm gonna meet in, um, from one to two. Okay. Okay, so we just got coffee and then had a waffle. And now I wanna sign up for a gym. So we're going to go to the gym and see how much it is. So it is raining. It came on down really fast and really strong. And um, I don't have an umbrella yet, so. I tried to sign up for the gym, but what happened was everything was in Spanish and it was really confusing. And um, I'm gonna go walk the right now. It's, it's still raining a bit, but not too much. So I think it's just a tropical weather. I have to get used to. Um, I have a huge edit, so I need to get back to my laptop. Look at this. You know, just random rainforest things. <laughs> Alright, so I need to get groceries. Um, still getting used to the currency here. I don't know what I need exactly. I'm sure a couple things. But, um, sorry. So I got groceries. I have no idea how much I spent. I think like 60,000, which I don't know how much that is yet. So we'll look it up when we get home. But <laughs> just 
grab some random things. Obviously I couldn't read anything, so I just um, guessed and it's fine. So I'm going back to my park now. These were like a dollar. Peas. Oh, you know, you can't go wrong with ramen. Um, and then I got soap. So, 60,000 pesos. Let's translate that. Okay, so how did I spend that much? What was so expensive? So I spent $15. I don't know on what. Also, my yogurt got poked. $15 though, that seems a bit expensive. So the two most precious things I got, I just dropped on the floor. I dropped my whole thing of eggs and all my blueberries. So. <laughs> this is a digital nomad uh, co-working working type of situation. So everyone is working right now, which is cool because it gives me the focus to be able to work on my own stuff. I had to, an espresso, an Americano and a cappuccino. That's a lot of caffeine for me, <laughs> but uh, it tasted real authentic Colombian coffee. Oh. I didn't mean to get caramel popcorn. <laughs> I thought it was normal popcorn. I guess dulce y salidas. I guess that's caramel popcorn. <laughs> Today was kind of just a getting settled type of day. And I think I did well. I didn't get my SIM card yet. The gym thing, fail, it didn't work. So I'm gonna try to go again tomorrow. And technically this is day two, but you have to understand that I, I had a lot of things. I have a face mask on. I had a ton of editing to do last night, so it was really boring. So there's this thing, it's called object permanence. And I have it, it's, it's a, again, I have a face mask on. I know I look crazy. And it's a thing where if you don't see something right in front of you, you don't believe it exists anymore. Like it's a neurodivergent type of ADHD type of thing. And I know I talk a lot about neurodivergence. Well, not even that much, but it has been a real problem in my life because whenever I'm not around anybody, for like half a day or more. I don't believe anybody exists anymore and it freaks me out. Anyways, I'm getting ready for the day. Don't know what it entails. When I travel, when I'm social, I get flustered. I get flustered, I spill things, I drop things, I don't do things correctly. My egg exploded in the microwave. I build eggs yesterday okay and they weren't done so i pulled them again today still weren't done so i put it in the microwave i peeled it and put it in the microwave and then it exploded with a very loud exploding oh. finally out of the apartment <laughs> despite all my numerous setbacks didn't get any proper breakfast, but I don't eat breakfast, so who am I trying to be right now? I'm too flustered. I'm going to the co-working space now. But I didn't get a scoop pre-workout. was only able to get a green go price in the end. Give me a SIM card finally here so I can have internet when I'm talking about. Perfecto! So getting a SIM here is really complicated. video here um, 
it's technically two days but I wanted to make a full video for you because I didn't get everything done on the first day so we got the sim card working the phone which is very complicated um the process of getting a sim card here is much more complicated than like say the UK in the UK you can like buy it off of Amazon stick in your phone good to go here you have to go to this certain shop and then you have to give the register lady money to for her to fill up the sim card and it's difficult very few people here speak English um I, that surprised me a bit because in a lot of countries I've been most people speak English pretty well but here it's been a little bit harder which is fine because that's their language but at the gym it's been kind of fun for me because I really want to brush up on my Spanish I'm hoping to take some Spanish classes welcome to Colombia uh, I'm gonna have some fun here hopefully <laughs> hopefully nothing goes bad but I'll vlog all of it anyways okay stay extra drill see you in the next video